The Justice League Funko Pops are very popular after the Snyder Cut, right? Let's talk about it. So the big news recently was the Justice League film Snyder Cut being released on HBO Max. And you got all the fanboys out there going absolutely ape over the fact that this movie finally dropped, how awesome it is, and that they're super excited to finally be able to watch all four hours. Did you notice what I just did? Yeah, you did some slow-mo like uh, Zack Snyder did. Apparently the movie was 10% slow-mo. <laughs> Since Justice League was dropped in 2017, all the merchandise is already out. In fact, we got Funko Pops, Mystery Minis, and all sorts of other crap. So it begs the question, will the Snyder Cut make all of these Funko Pops, Mystery Minis, and everything else highly sought after? We'll talk about that and more after you watch this. Head over to patreon.com slash to find out all the ways you can support this channel. We have three different tiers that are available, tier one, tier two, and tier three, but I'm just gonna talk about tier three. Tier three get you a Google Meet chat live with the Gasocast on one Saturday every month. Also, you get to be a part of a cool giveaway where we'll give away a bunch of awesome items. Lastly, you'll be involved on a thank you shout out at the end of every single video. Head over to patreon.com slash Gasocast to find out more. So I've been keeping a close eye on eBay, Macari. I've been keeping a close eye on Funko app. I've been keeping a close eye on PPG, Pop Price Guide. And it doesn't seem like there's been any movement with the Justice League Funko Pop. I figured with the Snyder Cut, people would be killing each other to get the Funko Pops and the Mystery Minis, and I'm wondering why this isn't happening. Why isn't there any hype around these things? Because they want the Snyder Cut version of the Funko Pops. Oh, is that where it has like a duller color? Yes. And more slow-mo? Much more slow-mo. Much more slow-mo? <laughs> you really don't have to do that. Is the popularity gone because they never updated Steppenwolf? Why does he have pinchers on his chin? We took a poll in the Gasocast We Hunt Together group on Facebook. If you're not there, you should totally go and join. And in that poll, I asked if the Justice League Funko Pops would become more popular due to the release of Snyder Cut. And we got an overwhelming answer of yes. No, we got an overwhelming response of why does Chris call it the Schneider Cut? Yeah, we did get a lot of that. The Schneider Cut. That was number one. Okay, number two was yes, and number three was no. Number four was Chris smells like poop. No, it wasn't. Was that really an answer? I don't think so. Is the popularity already gone because that ship has sailed and we don't care about the collectibles anymore because we got the Snyder Cut and that is all we need? Or is it because all the fans who wanted them already have them and there's no need to sell them or buy them? I, I don't know, this is kind of weird. However, they did release new silver versions of the Justice League, some of the Justice League characters. Superman, mm -hmm. Darkseid, another villain character and Diana. And these were actually sold in a bundle. You could get like a four pack bundle, which sold out really fast. And then they sold them all separately. And I looked on eBay the other day and that thing's going for a lot of money. So there is some popularity there for the Justice League Funko Pops. Well, we'll discuss a little bit more about that, but first watch this. We have teamed up with CollectorZone.com to bring you an awesome giveaway once we hit 5,000 subscribers. We are giving away this amazing Captain Marvel Deluxe Hot toys. All you have to do is head over to Instagram, follow these six steps right here, and you have a shot to win this figure. And much, much more. Okay, so here's the real reason why I think people aren't going after these Funko Pops. It's not that they're bad, because the Funko Pops and the Mystery Minis also are really well done. They're, they're, they're actually great. I really like the Mystery Minis. What I think it is, is that there's not going to be a Snyder Justice League 2. Why? Because apparently Warner Brothers doesn't want him. After the great success of the film being dropped on HBO Max, they don't want him back and they don't want him to make another Justice League. Apparently they're going in a totally different direction. Says who? Says Warner Brothers. Says a bunch of articles online right now. Are they from 
reputable sources. They are Snyder himself saying that he is oh. not wanted back. Is that good enough for you? It's coming directly from the horse's mouth. Okay, you do have really big teeth, but you don't have a horse's snout, so... Oh, you're saying I'm the horse's mouth. That's who I heard it from. I heard it from you. You didn't mean that you're the horse's mouth? No, Zack Snyder's the horse's mouth. Who's Zack Schneider? Is he related to Rob? Because the DC Universe is going to go in sort of a different direction. I mean, they're making a Flash movie with the same Ezra actor as the Flash. I don't understand this. They have a new Batman coming out with the guy from, what's the Vampire Sparkle Twilight. movie? Twilight. Yeah, Twilight. What's the guy's name? Pattinson? Robert Pattinson? He's going to be the new Batman? And will that tie into this whole world that's being spun up by DC after? Just as, I don't know. I I'm so confused. I have no idea what they're doing at Justice League. But boy, that Falcon and Winter Soldier episode was awesome. Stick to the topic. All right. Yes, there might be overwhelming popularity right now for the Snyder Cut. I think that that is going to be shortly lived. I think people enjoyed it. The four-hour runtime might not have people go back and watch it again. Me being one of them, I don't think I'll ever watch that movie again. For the most part, I think people who want these Funko Pops and Mystery Minis already have them. And I remember way back when, when these Funko Pops sat on the shelf and they couldn't sell them. GameStop used to have them for like $5.99 a piece. They were trying to get rid of them because the Justice League film didn't do very well the first go around. Yeah, I still don't understand that. I enjoyed that movie. I enjoyed it too, but the four-hour cut was definitely better in my opinion. Well, yeah. We needed the story. We needed everything that it gave us. I really wish Schneider got a part two. It bums me out a lot. What if they change our minds? You never know. Anything can happen. Warner Brothers did try the CGI off a mustache, hoping that we didn't know, but we noticed. We I, noticed. I didn't. He looked like he had a caterpillar riding around underneath his lip. Are you kidding me? I don't pick up on stuff like that. Well, the hype will now slowly die off the Snyder Cut. In a couple of months, we won't even be talking about it anymore. Instead, we'll be talking about that Falcon and Winter Soldier show. That thing's awesome. It's really awesome. Did you see the part where Stick the Falcon... Stick to the subject. Oh. So people aren't going crazy over the Funko Pops right now, nor are they going crazy over the Mystery Minis, but they are going absolutely wild for a Cyborg Hot Toys. You know, I really didn't like Cyborg's character so much in this. I wish they went more in depth. Like, I wish... What? They went very in depth. I don't think they went in depth enough. Did you watch the original Justice League from 2017? Yeah, I don't remember it. Don't you go back and watch it. There's zero story about it. Zero. I didn't feel the emotion in that character like I feel I should have. Like, I feel like they gave him the story that they should have given him, but I didn't feel it. Maybe it's because he's part robot. So you're saying he has no emotion because he's part robot? Like, I didn't feel connected to him, and I feel like with a story like that, I should have felt con like a connection. It's a girl thing. I like, no, no, I hear you. Yeah, it's fine. I feel emotions. Why are you looking at me like that? That was weird. You're still doing it. Can you stop? Guys, what do you think about the Justice League Funko Pops and Mystery Minis? Are you looking for them? Do you think the prices will go up or down or just stay where they're at? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. Are you looking for a special Funko Pop, Mystery Mini, or Funko Soda? Head over to poppinofftoys.com today. Don't forget, we have teamed up with The Office Funko Pops to bring you guys an amazing giveaway for a Craig Robinson signed Daryl Philbin Funko Pop from The Office. In conjunction with my podcast, The Office Orientation, and the Gasocast, we are giving that away to one lucky winner. Head on over to Instagram, make sure you follow The Office Funko Pops, The Office Orientation, and Gasocast. Follow the instructions on the picture that each of those pages posted and secure your chance to win today. The winner will be chosen this coming Friday, March 26th. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together. Yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.